Spoiler warning! I'll be talking about the 8th episode of Licorice Recoil in this video. If you haven't seen the episode yet, then I suggest you watch it first and then come back here, okay? Okay. So this episode was just a roller coaster ride of emotions. It was fun, it was very lively, and we get to see the Licorico cast spend some time together and that was really adorable. But the episode also gives us WTF moments that surprised me a lot. Majima, Chisato's house, and even bonded a bit with her. We get to see Takina and Chisato in action once again. And literally at the end, we get to see Chisato's life in danger right in front of our eyes. But before that, it was really sweet that we get to see more of the Likureko crew in their normal daily lives, away from fighting criminals or solving crimes. It adds more personality to their characters. They're not just one-sided characters. They're not just a one-trick pony. And, you know, like I said, I really appreciate stuff like that. The episode itself was really fun. I love every interaction we got from Kurumi, Mizuki, Mika, Takina, and Chisato, as they always had that family sort of relationship. And it was really sweet how Takina made a parfait and was even proud about it. She was very happy and as the cafe trends, many people order Takina's parfait and that makes her very happy to see that the customers are enjoying something she made. And what made me laugh though was the fact that when she discovered that the very reason why her parfait was trending is all because of its shape that it looks like a gigantic shit. But despite people still saying that it's delicious, Takina was just lifeless at the realization of her beautiful creation. There were other moments in the episode that also made me chuckle, like Kurumi's smugged face here. It just looks really cute and really funny at the same time. Takina getting mad at Chisato for costing so much money as she would literally tie her up and do the trouble herself so she wouldn't cause any damage. Now that was pretty fun. But just as the episode shows us wholesome and fun moments, it also gave us a terrifying cliffhanger. I don't know what they're doing to her, but I really hope Takina will get there on time. After seeing that, I was just so concerned for Chisato here, but I know she'll be fine. But there's always the one slim chance that something affects her or something happens to the artificial heart that's keeping her alive. And I am just so scared to what the next episode would tell me regarding this. But other than that terrifying ending, we also get a moment where Majima holds Chisato hostage or is just there to have a chat with her. We then see here that these two are alike. Two peas in the same pot. They love the same movies, they have a similar favorite scene, they both have heightened senses. Chisato has her eyes while Majima has his ears. And the fact that these two are literal opposites is just really good. Majima craves destruction and has the power to do so. While well, Chisato is the opposite. She has the power to kill, but decides to spare her enemies by using rubber bullets. Which what makes their soon to be conflict pretty exciting. Like how is she gonna defeat him? How is she gonna end things at the end of the series? Like many things can happen and that just frightens me. Takina acting concerned as well is pretty adorable. It really proves to show how much her character has changed during these past episodes. She couldn't care less for what the cafe stood for and all she ever cared about was returning back to DA. But ever since Chisato came into her life, she showed her that there's more to enjoy in life and that's what makes their friendship so beautiful. They support one another. They show the other something unfamiliar to them, something new, which is why I cannot wait to see what's going to happen in the next episode. So yeah, this is how my episode reviews are gonna look like now. Um, I hope you guys are fine with it, although I'm still not used to it. If you can clearly see, I look pretty much lifeless when I, <laughs> when I read the script. But um... And there's a lot of noise happening, like the squeaking and stuff, and the... Yeah, I, I'm pretty much sorry about that, so I hope you guys can deal with it for now. I don't even have a proper mic yet. I hope I'll be able to find a mic sooner or later, but, um, yeah, for now, yeah. I hope you guys will be fine with it. I, I promise I'll do my best to improve the reviews even further. I'll try my best, okay? I'll do my best, um... So if you'd like, please check out my episode 7 review of Licorice Recoil, or you can check out my episode 5 review of Love Life Superstar Season 2 right here. The choice is yours. 
And that's all for today, and I'll be seeing you guys next time. See ya!